This was clearly meant to be. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Joe R, Vintage Pokemon, back once again. We're taking a look at a really nice collection pickup, and these are getting harder and harder to actually find and um, have fun with because they're getting really expensive. But I got really lucky. This was actually a, a good friend of mine, um, a colleague from work, and she was a child of the 90s, just like me and many of you guys. And she basically said, do you want my childhood Pokemon cards? Because she collected them just like many of us did. Didn't play the game, but because it was the thing to do at the time, basically bought lots of Pokemon cards and just kind of put them in a binder. You can see it's not a huge collection. She basically collected base set through jungle and kind of left it at that. But I wanted to show you guys what we actually managed to pick up this time around. You can see on the front, not really much to show for, but there is a nice shadowless ponyta, which might actually be a sign of things to come. So I wanted to start out by taking a look at that, if I could get it out. There we go. And so uh, right off the bat, we've got some ponytas here, but um, what's interesting is these two sitting in front, uh, this is shadowless, and so is this one. But you'll notice that there are some problems with these two cards. Uh, the one on the left is super fake. And um, just want to remind you guys that this is something that you have to watch out for if you are buying collections or just buying singles in general. Uh, you have to know what it is that you're buying. Um, I've been doing this for, for 10 plus years now. And so I know that the font is way off. The color is way off. The look of the card is way off. It's way glossier than it really should be. It's not a matte finish. It's really a gloss. There we go. It's a nice glossy finish there. And it also feels off. It's, it's super flimsy compared to a regular card, which is much tougher cardboard, you could say. So again, two cards. One on the right is real. One on the left, super, super fake. So, but let's see what else we've got in this collection. Maybe we've got some more really cool stuff to come. I'm gonna put those off to the side for now. You can see we've got some first edition jungle in here. That's a first edition Rapidash. The condition of that card was not, not the greatest. Um, really nice, we've got a heavy hitter right here. We've got a, a Japanese, it looks like, Venusaur, which is really cool. And we've got a Shadowless Ninetales which a reminder for those of you that are unsure what the difference between something that is shadowless and unlimited is, um, a shadowed card is going to have that shadowed border on the right hand side. And if it's shadowless, it will be missing that. All cards after base set shadowless are going to have the shadowed border. So that's something that was only for the original first couple sets of base set first edition and base set unlimited shadowless only. So continue to take a look. Uh, we've got a Ninetales here, which is pretty cool. Let's pull that one out. You can see we've even got an Arcanine up top over here. There's a Caterpie. Charmander over here is also Shadowless, which is really neat. Uh, this Ninetales, oh man, I can already tell. Um, you take a look at the back. Maybe we'll see, oh. That has been through a blender. So it's neat that it's shadowless, but um, not a lot that you can say for, for this card. Not a lot going for it anyway, but still really cool. It is shadowless after all. Hopefully the condition is going to pick up on this. She said that she didn't really play with these cards, but you know, kids being kids, you take them to school, you play with them at recess, you show them off, they're going to get damaged one way or another. Um, this Venusaur, this is another money card, so let's see if this is in a little better shape. All right. Okay. All right, so a little bit of whitening here in the bottom left. But that is way cleaner, way, way cleaner. So this is a nice pickup right here. And I only, she offered me the whole collection. She said, you know, I'll give you, you know, if you give me 40 bucks, buy me a coffee. So that pays for it right there. One card, the Venusaur, I'm pretty sure is going to really do it justice. Might have to go treat her a little bit more. 
Um, continuing on, not too much to show for, it seems, on these pages. I'm seeing a shadowless Nidoran right there, which is pretty cool. We got a little mix of fossil, a little mix of jungle. Some relaxing Pokemon theme music in the background. Getting into a couple more shadowless cards. This makes me think that these shadowless cards came from theme decks because these are all cards that came in some of the early theme decks, which was probably the easiest way to get shadowless Pokemon cards because they were kind of just smattered within the theme decks a lot of the times. You could get the player two starter theme deck with the Machamp, Blackout, Brushfire, Overgrowth, and I'm missing one. Oh, the Zap deck with the Mewtwo. And so they all had shadowless variants. And um, I'm seeing cards from, I think, the Brushfire theme deck so far that would have been in those. Here we've got a first edition Pinsir. Might as well take a look at that. Not a lot of hollows that we're seeing, so really a lot of our value has come from that one, that one Venusaur. And this Pinsir now is pretty clean. It's not the Scratch Error version, but doesn't seem to be a lot of wear on it, so that's pretty cool. So that's a nice pickup too. Very nice. We got a Shadowless Jinx right here, which is pretty neat. Let me take another flippy flip. And whoa, got ourselves a nice little page here. Star you, Star me, Squirtle, War Turtle, and Holographic Clefable, all staring us in the face. Oh, dare I check this Squirtle out? Oh, we've got the Ghastly too. Let's see. Squirtle Squad, help me out here, buddy. That's pretty clean on the front. Moment of truth. Wow. Now I gotta say, the starters, the Shadowless starters, are a really nice score, and this thing looks like it's in at least near mint condition. You can see there's no back edge wear on this thing, very little anyway, minimal, no creases. So at least some of these cards, I guess she did not play with, some more than others, but that's a really nice score. We've got this Ghastly here, and it looks pretty darn clean also. So that's cool. So we're seeing some improvements. War Turtle is a really big score. Let's see. Oh, I can see there's some wear down here in the bottom left. I always like to look at the bottoms and backs of the cards. It's easy to see if there's damage when you look at the back. If there's whitening, it means there's a lot of wear. But this one looks pretty good too. Not bad. Lightly played, perhaps. Clefable. Since the other jungle card wasn't too bad, I'm thinking this one won't be too bad either. I'm not seeing a lot of damage on it. Definitely a real card, by the way. You can tell instantly because of the thickness. It definitely feels a lot tougher. It's not glossy like the fake one was. Nice Japanese do duo. Okay. Oh, here's actually another good example. I'm digging this actually. I love I love finding fake cards because it's a great chance to kind of show off a card that has something wrong with it. So this again, this is this is super super fake. You can tell immediately the the wording is not the right color. It's not dark. It's gray basically. Um, very glossy finish. Look at that thing. It's just shiny. I could blind you. I you know, need sunglasses to look at that bad boy. And um, it just feels off and the color is wrong. I mean, I could bend this like no problem. Compared to the Clefable, I, I can't bend that without damaging it. This thing, I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's terrible. So another really good example of a fake Pokemon card, which were common back then, just like they're, they're common now. That's why it's important to know what you're looking at. We got some other cards here. Shadowless Electro, that's a nice pickup. That's really neat. Okay, Shadowless Magnemite. Continuing through, I'm gonna have to take a look at all the cards that are back behind some of these, because there's clearly some. Ooh, 
Shadowless Porygon is really neat, but Pikachu. Let's take a look, see. Please have a Shadowless Pikachu. Oh. My hopes, they just dropped because it's another fake card. It's so glossy and the coloring is off and the texture is all wrong. Oof. This is gonna make for a really cool video though. I'm gonna make a video on fake cards and we're gonna have some fun. We'll even do the nuclear option and tear some in half. So that's something to look forward to. All right, we'll put you back behind there. Have some fun with you guys later. We'll nuke, nuke some cards. We've got a non-hollow Dragonite over here and I saw that we had a movie promo too, which is pretty neat. So always really cool to see that we've got some movie promos. Those have been having some, some nice rise in value too, because a lot of people are digging the movie promos now. Some trainers, and uh, this is where things get kind of interesting because um, I don't know a lot about, about Top Sun, or Tops, Tops, not Top Sun, Tops cards. These are um, trading cards from Pokemon the first movie. And I guess some Tops cards mixed mixed in. That's a really good one right there. We've got a, a Blastoise over here. And I don't know what the condition of these cards is gonna be, but I'm guessing because they're towards the back, they might not have much wear on them. I mean, looking at this card, it doesn't seem like it has any scratches on it. There's like no damage, it looks like, on this thing. So I guess the question is, do I, do I sell it raw or do I wanna submit it to PSA? It's a tough call. That is really clean. It's not a holographic, but it is a Blastoise. So that's really cool. And we've got some other fun stuff over here. Charizard's head's in a hole. Mewtwo's just hanging out with a bunch of Pokeballs. Oh, 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 get a room, Charizard's. Pokemon the first movie, taking it to the next level. And let's see if we got any other winners. Oh! We got a whole evolution line here. That's really neat. We got Squirtle. There's a Charmander, Charmeleon over here on the right. And it looks like that's gonna really make up the rest of this collection, guys. So, not a lot of cards. Only base set through jungle, but there's some still some pretty good hits in here. And I was really happy to go through it and share it with you folks today. I hope you stick around and uh, enjoy some future videos with us. Like and subscribe. We do vintage Pokemon cards all the time. That's all I like to do. So we'll see you all next time through. Joe R. Vintage Pokemon, out.